My name is Olivier Morin and I lead the Minds and Traditions Research Group at the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History here in Vienna in Germany. Well, our usual approach in cognitive science and cultural evolution would be to use an experiment, bring people into the lab and ask them to play a communication game in a required amount of time with very specific instructions and the tasks are usually not very, very fun. The problem with this approach is this is not exactly how language works. With the color game, you can talk to anyone at any time for any length of time. You can play for a minute if you want, or you can lose yourself into the game for hours if you like. There is no instruction, there is no uh, time limit, and it doesn't feel like a test or a task or an experiment. It really feels the way nat natural communication feels. That's what we want to uh, approach with this game. We want to approximate the real conditions of human communication that we can't get at in the lab. My name is Tiffany Morisot, I'm a postdoc researcher and I work um, in collaboration with the, um, the Minds in Tradition research group uh, here at the uh, Max Planck Institute. So the color game was uh, actually designed to uh, create a new language made of uh, new symbols uh, that will evolve and that we can study. Um, the, the idea behind this is that we uh, want to um, to test hypotheses and to answer new questions about uh, how um, communication evolves. We're aiming to simulate the birth and evolution of a small language, a language without words, made of symbols that people can use to talk about colors. So this is the home page of the game. Um, this shows you the list of uh, other players available to, to play the game with you. And let's say I want to um, create a new puzzle for other players. So I just have to click there. You see this one is the color that I um, have to make other people guess. So to do that, I will pick one or more symbols that will appear here and create a new puzzle. And the, uh, the goal of the other players uh, who will play as receivers is to um, guess among those colors which one is the one I want them to guess. Uh, the app is not a puzzle game. It's not about decoding uh, symbols. It's not about figuring out cues. The only code that has to be broken is the language that you and the other players will build. Mm -hmm.